Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 on how to make a Pets and Loader X Star Gaming Roblox. In this video we're going to be getting started on the pet sending system so that when you click on a chest or any drop your pet will go there and if you click it again your pet will go back. Also you guys might be wondering where did this map come from? Well this map was built by my friend Wolozzi. He was the one to build everything you see here. Uh, follow him on Twitter at Wolozzi1. He also built, made this uh, asset pack and if you guys want this map uh, including the scripts and everything everything is in available on my patreon in the ten dollars tier with that being said let's start all right so the first thing we're gonna do is set up our drops so that we can click them and send the pet uh, there to destroy them so what i'm going to do is uh let's say this is our drop it's just a uh, simple mesh or just a cylinder and what I did is I just uh, right click group or you can play you can uh, press control G and what you can do is just choose a random part inside of the uh, inside of your model so for me it's going to be this coin part and I will select my model primary part and I'll click the coin and then I'll rename the model to for example single coin single coin and now I'll just select a random part on my model and I'll add an attachment to it now I'll move this attachment somewhere. This is where our pet is going to be. So I want my pet to be here. So I'll just move it this up a bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'll do this for the other parts. Uh, I have a uh, coin pile, another coin pile, and a chest. So I'll just select my chest, set the primary part to a random part. Inside of that same part, I'll add a an attachment, and I'll select my attachment, and I'll move it here. That's pretty good in my opinion now i'll do the same thing for this so farming part will be random part add an, at add an attachment to this and just move it somewhere somewhere good uh yep this is pretty good now i'm going to select this do the same thing again a attachment uh move this up and now we have this working now what i'm going to do is drag these uh, actually, I'm going to create a folder inside of the workspace. And I'm going to call it drops. So just create a folder and call it drops. And I'll just select my drops. And I'll just parent them to the drops folder. Oh, what just happened? Okay, I messed up. What I'm going to do is select them again. And parent them inside of the folder. And that should be good. Now what I'm going to do is move these here in the workspace. I'll just select both of them. And I'll place them here. Now what I'm going to do is fix some stuff up. Because sometimes when you join the game, it won't actually equip the pet. And yeah, just like now and to fix that it's very simple you just have to enter your data script and what i'm going to do instead of just waiting two seconds and equipping the pet i'll just do player dot character added on connect function and we're gonna wait two seconds then and then we'll equip the pet and that should work now what i'm going to do up here is select my go to server storage server modules and drag this inside of server script service because that's where you're supposed to replace them i just messed up in the last video and what i'm going to do here is local server script service is equal to game called get service get service server script service now what i'm going to do here is change this to ser okay server modules we have to change this to server script service dot server modules and what i'm going to do now is uh, inside of the server modules, I'm going to add a module script. And inside of this map, I will rename my module script to um, send pet. And inside of server storage, I uh, player data, I'll add the folder and I'll call it values. And I'll add a object value and I'll rename it to, uh, let's say, sent to. And now what I'm going to do here is get uh, some services. So local local uh, workspace workspace is equal to game. Come on, get service workspace. 
and local drops drops is equal to workspace workspace works workspace uh dot drops drops is the folder name drops no so rename it drops now inside of here what i'm going to do is do a function function module dot setup and for underscore comma uh drops comma uh drop drop in pairs uh drops do what i'm going to do is local cd is equal to instance dot new click detector and cd dot max activation distance is equal to and uh, let's just say 15 and cd dot parent is equal to drop because i'm pretty sure uh click detectors work with entire models let me check if i'm still recording yes and now what i'm going to do is do cd dot mouse click on connect function and that will take the player of course and in here i'm going to create a function function module dot send uh, pet or uh, yep module dot send pet and that's going to take the player and the uh drop now what i'm going to do here is module dot send pet uh player comma drop okay now what we need to do is actually that's it that's all we gotta do now what I'll, what I'll do is go to the send pet function what we're going to do is check if player dot values dot sent to is not equal to drop then uh we're gonna uh, send the pet to the drop else we're gonna uh retrieve back the pet so to do that actually i'm not going to do that i'll just go here and get get the pets folder so local pets is equal to workspace dot pets and now I'm going to do local player pets is equal to pets on find first child player dot name. And what I'm going to do here is check if player pets can't get children, if hashtag player pets can't get children, sorry, is greater or equal to one. Then, so we are, we are checking if there is a pet equipped. Then what we're going to do is local pet is equal to player pets can't get children. Uh, square brackets one so that's going to return the table of the pets and we're going to get the first item on, on that table which is our pet and what i'm going to do now is pet dot align position dot attachment attachment one is equal to and a drop dot uh primary part dot attachment now I'm going to do the same thing for the align orientation. So align orientation, align orientation, orientation dot attachment one, and we're gonna set it to that. And now that should work, but we also need to set the player dot values dot sent to dot values equal to drop. And now I'm going to go here in the else, and what I'm going to do is just copy this. But instead of sending the path, we're gonna set that to layer dot character dot humanoid root part dot and let's go back here and check what we renamed it to. So let's enter our pet module, and I'm pretty sure it's called just att attachment uh, one. Yes, uh, dot attachment one, and we're gonna do the same thing here. So let's copy this, paste it in here, and uh on orientation and we're gonna set the sent to value to nil actually we're gonna set it to yep nil now if you go down here and just do module dot setup and play the game now maybe it will work not too sure though Okay, so we have a problem here. Oh, very simple. We just have to do dra drops, go and get children. Now you can play the game. 
and no errors. Now I'm going to try to click this and we have a problem. And that is also very simple to fix uh, because we're going to have to do a pet.primary part dot line. Okay, so pet primary part. And we're going to do the same thing here. Same thing again. Play the game now and hopefully it will work. All right, so I got my pet and I'll send the pet. And as you can see, the pet is sent, but the rotation is flipped. We'll fix that later. And that does not work. It doesn't uh, send the pet back to me. So what I'll do here is, okay, let's think about this. So we're checking if the send to value is not equal to the drop. Then we're setting the send to dot value to the drop as if okay else if player dot values dot sent to is it equal equal to oh value is equal equal to drop that and in here do dot value now it should work hopefully so i'm going to send the pet press that again and that my pet is back now as you can see that works Okay, we need to drag the attachment up a bit. I'll fix that. We're gonna try it here. Same thing, actually, that's that's perfect, I think. Okay, I'm just going to select this attachment, drag it up. Drag it up. By the way, the way I'm selecting the attachments is by going to model and show world, constraint details and draw on top. And now if you play the game to fix the rotation of the pet, what we're gonna do is for each drop, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna press this. And what I'll do is select the attachment of this one uh, part. So I'm just gonna just, oh, we have a problem here, by the way. We'll fix that. We have two click detectors. Yep. We're gonna have to fix that. Uh, just select the attachment, rotate it. And now just copy the orientation. Can I do the same thing for this? I'll click it. That is going to send there. And I'm going to select the attachment, rotate it. They'll actually paste these on here. I'm just going to paste them somewhere. So I'm going to go to my notepad. Okay, so I have my notepad. I'm going to put in the first position. And the second position is this. So I want it to be like this. I'm going to copy the, the orientation. Oh, okay. Copy the orientation. Make sure this is perfect. I'll paste it in. Now I'll go here. I'll send the pet there. And I can't see the attachment. Actually, it's, this is already good. So no need to fix it. Now we'll uh, put that in. So I'm just going to copy the first orientation, go here to orientation or the attachment, put this in, like the other one, like this, paste the orientation there too. And that's good. Now, if you play the game, then that should work. And now we need to fix the click the text problem because we have uh, too many click detectors so what i'll do is go to the send pet module and what i'm going to do here is just check if if uh, not drop on find first child of class click detector then and that should fix it and i think i was actually causing this because when i was testing this testing this before recording I was doing something wrong here. Yep, is this. I'm just going to get rid of this, don't do that. Just enter the main server script. And what you're gonna paste in is just uh, this. So just these lines of code. So copy them and uh, in the send pet module, get rid of this. Because we're calling this setup two times. Okay, so when I finished recording this video, I found a little bug that I'll show you how to fix. Inside this uh, 
uh, main server script what we're gonna do is before we set up all the things we're gonna do test.wait at around 10 seconds and then we can do this and now if you play the game this will work but after 10 seconds because what was happening is it worked on uh, studio but it did not work on uh, on roblox so let's see if this works after 10 seconds and indeed it does now we're gonna go ahead and try it in roblox okay so here i am in the actual place now i'll just uh wait 10 seconds and we should be able to click this and yes now i can click the click it and send the pet Okay, so guys, I think this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!